guys, it's Sonya with Junk Monkey Paint Company and welcome back to my daily vlog. If you are new to my channel, if you just found me over the holidays, I'm Sonya. Pretty much in a nutshell, I'm a picker and a painter. Yes, I love to thrift and treasure hunt. So I am excited because today in the vlog, we are going to do a thrift flip and this is gonna be a piece that I'm gonna use in my kitchen. So all the pieces that you see me paint and pick here on my channel, either go into my store to be sold, to go for a resale, for somebody else to come in and go, I love it, I wanna take it home or else I keep it for myself. Recently, we did purchase a new old home and I'm having fun decorating it. So a lot of you guys may have seen it over the last couple days when I did some lives, what it looks like in the background through the rest of the house. Well, I gotta tell you friends, in 2020, we've got tons of projects coming up. So it's gonna be an exciting year. So if you just found me, hopefully you get lots of inspiration. We are just about to get this new year started. So when I recently got this at a thrift store haul, on a thrift store haul, did you guys see that with me? I can't remember where I got it. Was it a Goodwill? You guys were with me. Which store did we get this at? I paid $4.99 for it and I loved it. It's, oh yeah, that's right. It's in the vlog where I couldn't describe what it was. It's a two tiered tray. I think we got that figured out, right? So it's got like a plate, but a bowl on the bottom. And honestly, it's one of those made in China pieces and it's very primitive looking, right? Anybody out there into primitive, rustic, that sort, you kind of stay to that sort of side of uh, distressed furniture. It has a bit of a crackled effect inside and I can appreciate this. This is beautiful, but it's not quite my style. So we're gonna change it up, but I love the actual, so this is when I look at a piece and go, I love the fact that, you know, this is the reason why when you think about high rises were built, right? Because storage goes up. So I love the idea of using this on my kitchen counter. So today in the vlog, we're going to do a thrift store flip for my kitchen, but I think this is going to go right next to my coffee maker. So I picked up on a former vlog, you might remember one of those spinny things where you put all your K cups into for, you know, your Keurig for your coffee maker or whatever brand that you have. And so that one is filled. And recently I got some more good boxes of stuff to try. My son is very much a hot chocolate drinker. He doesn't do coffee like me, but I picked up a box of um, hot chocolate. Come on, it's the winter, right? And marshmallows and all that good stuff. And so I wanted to set up a corner of my kitchen, which is kind of being like a like a coffee station, right? Like a little little cute little station where you come and you find everything that you need, all the syrups, all that sort of stuff. Anybody do a coffee station out there? Tell me if you do below. And also found some cappuccino mix. So my little spinny thing, we'll call it, all right, my wheel of coffee is completely full. And when I got this, I'm like, how am I gonna use this? Will I put decor in it? What will I do? And then I'm like, you know what, Sonia, you can put that in the corner of your kitchen on your countertop and you can turn this into a, really, once you put some paint on it, make it pretty and make it yours, your style, this would be awesome to fill with all like the little coffee accessories. What do you guys think of that? One of the pieces I have in my kitchen that this is gonna be next to is one of, is my actual utensil holder here. And I love it. So that's why I'm like, do I wanna go with a Bahama Jade or a Teal River? But I'm like, no, I'm gonna stay with this blue here. And it's a little bit more blue than versus a green. Love me some cactus. I got this at Hobby Lobby for half off, so like $5. No, I lied. It was $19.99, so I got it for $10. So into our Teal River we go. I don't have to prime or strip or sand with this paint. So honestly, all I did was clean it, let it dry, and now I'm ready to give it a transformation. Grab a brush, go bananas. Let's put on some good music while we paint. using a Chevy chip brush. It's a really hard bristled brush. So when you apply your paint, it doesn't give you full coverage. So I think it would be really cool to allow a little bit of this navy, this cream, this red to just kind of pop through. We can distress it in just a little bit as well. But if you look on your cover wheel, you'll see that red and blue, red, orange, blue, green, all those kind of like really go really well together. Complimentary colors. <music>
think this is pretty well dry now. I'm not seeing any more wet spots. Remember that, well, I'm gonna do a little distressing because I do love shabby distress. You don't have to if you don't want to. If you love things in solid coverage, girl, guy, just put on a second coat of paint and you'll be good, all right? So what I'm gonna do is distress a little bit more off of this. Obviously, I told you I used a brush that didn't give me like complete coverage, which, me, which means I have a little peekaboos of the cream and the blue and that really pretty brick red color coming through. I think it's beautiful and I like it that way. I'm gonna add a little extra something something with my core sand block and go all around the edges. <laughs> So when you sand the paint, it also gets really nice and buttery smooth, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and dust this off and then I'm gonna go ahead and put a quick seal on to it with banana peel. So because this is gonna go into the kitchen and things might get flicked onto it and then I'm gonna wanna take stuff off my accessories and I'm gonna wanna wipe it when I'm cleaning and all that good stuff, that's why I'm gonna go ahead and use our banana peel polyacrylic. And what that does is it not only sucks in to the wood but also gives it a nice, tough, durable outer cover protective finish which makes it wipeable, right? I just need to wait 24 hours at least before I begin to put anything into it, which means I'm going to end this vlog here. And when I come back tomorrow, I will show you as part of my daily vlog tomorrow, what it looks like in my kitchen, how I filled it, and what it looks like in terms of the new life that it was given. Leave me a comment below and tell me what was a find that you found recently that just makes you do a happy dance and you are excited to bring it into your home. Are you gonna paint it, leave it as is, but at least tell me what you found and what you're happy over. See you tomorrow, bye.